That's good stuff. Although it happens to be parents got a complaint today. They forwarded me to somebody that I cut it off yesterday too early, right by the Uber Shiloh. <laughs> oh, I, I hear. Oh, in the middle of that. Oh, yeah, you cut that off. Ah, I cut that off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And the, guy, the guy called a little tighter today. <laughs> okay, so now we're continuing in the previous sugar. We're on the first line down on Kuf Zayin Amaralev. So yesterday, we were discussing if they had, a, we had a couple of cases. One was a, a Yerusha, that the two brothers split it, and then all of a sudden, the third brother came out of nowhere after they split it, and he says he wants a piece of the pie. So that was one case. Then we had another case of partners dissolving the partnership Two partners, there was three partners in a partnership, two dissolved it without one. Uh, so basically, so the Machlaikis was, do you have to, really Machlaikis was on the Yerusha one, do they have to dissolve the whole, the whole splitting of the Yerusha and then split it three ways now instead of two ways? Or does each one give a piece of his Yerusha to the, to the third fellow? So that was the Machlaikis. And now the Gemara continues with, a, with another very, variable of this, the Itmar. Achin shecholku, you have brothers that split up a Yerusha, uba balchayv, so a balchayv again, a balchayv is not what we call a balchayv. Balchayv, we, we consider a balchayv a guy who's in debt. A balchayv here means somebody who owns the debt, meaning he's a, he's the lender. So there came the balchayv, and balchayv was from the father, <laughs> not from the kids. The Balchav is the father. So we know kids are not mechuyiv to pay back their father's debts. But from the Yerusha, they are mechuyiv to. So the Balchav came, and he just went after one guy. And he took the chalak of one of them. So Rav Amar Batl Machloikis. Rav said Machloikis is Batl, meaning they have to redo the whole thing. I mean, you got two options here. Maybe you have more than two options, but at least two options here. One is that the one the brother that the food the the stuff was taken from to go to the other brother and say, "Hey, give me give me half of what I lost," or he could just or meaning it could be in fields or product or whatever it is, or he could ask him for money. So, or they can just absolve the whole thing and then resplit. So there Rob says one of the options are not absolved. Is there an option that one brother say to the other brother, "Sorry, you lost." Now we're going to see. So let's oh, see. So Rav Amar Batal Machlaikis. Rav says the Machlaikis is Batal and they have to start it again. Shmuel Amar Vita. Shmuel says that's it. He was Mavatar it. And he's a loser, basically. So <laughs> that's one, brother got one, got, one brother got shafted. That he doesn't go back to the other one. So we'll see what the Pshan is Machlaikis. That, that's those, those two. And the Ravasi is somewhere in the middle. Ravasi Amar Naitu Ravia Bekarka Ravia Bemois. He takes a quarter, meaning. Ravasi is not sure which way to go with this. Uh, and so he, what he does is he says you got to split it. Some so you either take a quarter uh, in karka or vid, even though it's a vid, but here it's or, or even though the Taisus has a gear sub that's maybe both, but the revia bemois. He can either take in land or he can take in money. Why only revia? Because he's splitting it. So be half? What? Um, a review of the whole thing or half of what the other brother has? So half of what ha it means it's a half of what was taken, so which is so a you're quarter. Back meaning, to the whole thing and you say one quarter now. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So what's Pshana does Rav Omar Batal Machloikis. Rav says the whole thing was Batal Kasavar. Ha'achin Shachalku Yarshin Hain. Achin that split are Yarshin. All right. So Mamela, since they Yarshim, so therefore they're not considered like purchasers. So Mamela, they're they're inheritors, so they're both responsible. So therefore they split it. All right? Now, now maybe now Gershon will be the one to talk up because we go with Breira. Right? Now, meaning when you split, when a, when a, when a people split an inheritance, so how do you split it? Does each one own uh, every every molecule of Yerusha? Each one has a half of it, and then it gets. And then once they take it retroactively, it gets split, right? So Rav holds. Uh, you say that. Um, you do say Breira, right? So Mavela, since you say Breira, 
So now we don't know what's going on because really some of this stuff shouldn't have been yashin. So immediately that means that with going Brera, going backwards, we say that it wasn't taken from this guy who the car, meaning the, the, the guy, the Baal Chayv, went to one brother. So if you say they would both purchase it, so they purchased it and now he lost, right? But it, meaning to make it clear, a guy goes to a store and, and he buys something and then a creditor comes and takes it away from him and says, you know, you owe me money, so I'm taking it. You can't go back to the store and tell the store, hey, you know, had I known that this guy would have taken this product I bought from you, I would never have bought it, right? Nobody would ever have a meal like that, right? So it's the same thing here. If you hold that this that people that Yarshan are considered like purchases, purchases, so now once they split the Yerusha, it's as if one brother bought it. Why does that help, though? Why well, would that help in this scenario? Let's say I buy something and it's Meshubit HaBal Chayv. I the other yeah, person so that, can still come, come yeah, so the other person can still be Tavemi for that afterwards. Correct. That's a good question. How that how oh, that works? We'll right. get to that. What's up? Right. Let's it's... let's get through the shot. Let's get through the shot first, please. Right. So so uh, meaning so if it's looked at like a purchaser, so it's his tough luck. Yeah, you bought you bought the Yerusha. Now you got got taken from you. You're finished. But if you say it's a Yerusha and you say Brera, so it comes out that this thing wasn't a Yerusha at all. It wasn't. It wasn't his. Right, it was a it was a Yerusha that went bad. So Mamela, everything gets to be re about re re split. So that's what Rav holds. We say Brera and the Yarshim and Mamela. We have to re split everything. Shmuel Amar Vita Kazava Achat Shachalku Lekuchas Av. He says that they're considered purchases. Ukalekeach Shaleiba Achrayistam, and they're considered like a Lekeach. This I think is is what you're saying, Yakiva. They're like buyers that bought without Achrayis, uh, without a guarantee. Right, um, meaning because normally when somebody buys something, so it can well depending if it's karka or or not. So then there's there's an uh, there's an achray is built into it, right? But here it's not it's not like he would have uh, not taken the yerusha because there's no achray right? So bottom line is, this has nothing to do. He can't even say that, oh, you sent, you sold me a, a, a bill of why, goods. You know, why would they do that? Why would they not be Makabal Christ? There's a possibility the father had a ball played. And, and there's a possibility one person is going to get be out <laughs> no, because, money. Why would people right, assume that you're not Makabal Christ? Right. So the Rush bomb basically, I, the way I'm understanding, but I don't know if that's correct, is that since each brother wants to take their money and run, they don't. They're not interested in starting the deal. Is this shibud? I'm not shibud. I'm taking mine. I'm very happy with mine. We sort of said that yesterday. Like, that's a huge happy. risk, though. It is a risk, but that's well, what else are they going to do? Wait, Fight? Wait, what else? You, you're you're yarshining something. There's shibud. Your father has quite possibly bali Why? Why would we assume such a hana? Huh? Why would we assume that they would have such a hana when they? That's not a hana at all. It's a huge risk. It's a fifty-fifty. I, I mean, I, unless they don't know about the Balchay, but even so, there's, there's a good possibility if it's a Balchay, your, your car price are going to that. To me, that's a big finish to say that that, that, that there's a Ahiyah when you, when, you, when you might be on the hook and you might lose out on the entire yeah. Yerusha. I don't, uh, I don't uh, hear any Anah on that. Yeah, but the other brother also might be on the hook. I'm saying it, it goes either uh, way. Th you're taking a risk. That's my point. Why would you want to take such a risk? The 50 of the chance. Because you're because you're not on the hook for the other half. What, what do you, what, you could lose out on your entire Yerusha. Right, and your brother could also lose out on his Yerusha. That's, it goes either way. That's not I, I, that's not a hana. That's called gambling. Oh my god. And that's the. I, I wouldn't about call the time of the Gemara, but the time of now, before the the baby boomers like me became old, my my parents, I mean, was did not own owe anything when they died. Well, okay. the Gemara discusses many cases people <laughs> the, people have so to your, pay for the father's your scenario, the your scenario is love Dafka, that he's afraid that his parents own money. They don't. The know Gemara discusses money. those scenarios all the time throughout Shas. Oh, that's good, but we're way past Shas. <laughs> we're in Shas. What? He's so we're, we're literally <laughs> some of his manas there. I'm talking about Ben. We're saying there's a, there's an omdin of a no. I'm saying there's, the Gemara discusses all, always scenarios that they're, the father, you could be paying your father's claims. So what kind of know is that? Um, 
Yeah. Wait, is but it? anyways. This yeah. piece has nothing to do with the Bahiyan, though. There's no girdle here. There is a Bahiyan, though. That's the way the Rashmam explains it. Um... As I was explaining why there's no Achrayas Tosof over here, that there should be an Achrayas, like we hold when you sell something to somebody. Over there, we do assume that he, that, that the seller is going to reimburse you. So Ashram says know. that's only by a sale. Because people are not going to spend money and throw it out the window, but not by your shim, no, because I need to know. I hear. Anyways, I don't know. These things always confuse me. What should I tell you? They confuse me. But the point is, the point is, is that on uh, the basic point, the Achrayas part is confusing. But the main point is, is that they're, he's looked at like a purchaser. So just like when you come out of a store, you bought something and somebody comes and takes it away from you, you can't go back to the store and return it. So Shmuel saying the same thing here. You took the Yerusha, you bought it, it's your tough luck. Right? Rob says they're like Yarshim. Right? Yeah, fine. That's now that's that's the easy ones. Now Rav Asi, he's in the middle. Rav Asi Masapkale, he's Masupik e Yarshin Hava e Lekuchas Hava. He's not sure whether they're considered Yarshim or Lekuchas Hilchach Naito Revia Bekarka or Revia Bemoyes. So that's why he t either takes a quarter in land or a quarter in in money. That's right, so that's the three way Machlokes. Now. Um, now we get into shtickle, um, uh, how we paskin. So Amar Papa, Hilchas of Bechol Handi Shmeitzin, and all these Gemaras, meaning today's daf, um, and yesterday's daf, Mekamtzin. What we do is, remember the Machlaikis is whether we redo the entire, uh, whether we redo the entire uh, um, transaction. Deal, right? We do it, but again, we had it, we had it by, we had it in two cases. <laughs> We had it by the two brothers, and then a third brother showed up, and then we had it by two brothers, and then a and a Balchayv came to take some money away. So, so Rav Papa is saying in both cases we take off their their chaluk. We don't redo. We don't redo it. Right. Which means that in this, which means he's passing like Rav in one case and Shmuel in the other case. Right. And yesterday's daf. Right, um, he's paskening like Shmuel, and in today he's paskening <coughs> like Rav. It's very interesting. He's paskening one way like Rav, one way like Shmuel. Okay, Amemar Amar Batla Machlokes, and Amemar says no, the Machlokes is Batla. The Elkus of Batla Machlokes. Either way, we don't paskin like Rapapa, and we're saying that the halacha is is the Machlokes is Batla. Fine. Um, then another, now we get into evaluations. Yes, the Tanarabon, Shloisha Shiyardu Lashum, three brothers, not three brothers, sorry, three people, three Dayanim went down to evaluate a field, usually for Yasimim, right? Echad Aimer Bemana, so one said it's worth a hundred. The Shnaim Aimer Bemasayim, right? And notice how the Gemara, I mean, obviously the Gemara is not going to entertain that everybody's going to agree. That wasn't one of the. I mean, I, I, there's no case then, but <laughs> right, they're not getting a unanimous decision either way, right? So, uh, one says a hundred and two say two hundred. Echad I'm Rabbi Masayim v'Shnayim I'm Rabbi Mano. Or one says two hundred, the other one says a hundred. Bottle Yachid b'Miyutai. The the Yachid is bottle b'Miyutai. As we know, we always go with the Rav. So Mamela, we go. We consider it either two hundred or one hundred, whatever the two say. But what happens if each one? Why do you go on the meat? The you don't go with the meat. Bottle yachid bimiyutai. Ah, okay. Right? So we're going with the majority. Yeah? Now, what happens if all three have their own opinions? Now what do you do? So, echadaymer bimana. One says it's a hundred zuz. Echadaymer beesrim. Why the Gemara does this, I don't know. But now it changes to sloyim. I, I guess to, to make us work, <laughs> to make us work. And it had to change, right? Okay, but change, no pun intended. So, okay, one said 100, that's Zuz. I think we had a Gemara that asked a similar question. Who? We had a Gemara, I think, in Baba Basra that asked a similar question that you just asked. 
Why doesn't it say Mana Masayim and, and Shalish Meis? Does the Gemara say that, that within a hundred you can make a mistake? More than a hundred away you can't. So it wants to keep these three within a hundred of each other. Um, we had something like that. Uh, yeah, vaguely, but I don't, I don't remember. Either way, so the Gemara is doing two interesting things. They want to change; it's changing denominations. First, it says a hundred, then it says twenty, which means twenty is eighty zuz because it's four zuz per cell. I mean, it's twenty. Oh, right, it's twenty cell. The, the is, Shabbat says the mana is twenty-five slab, though, right? A mana is twenty-five slab. So yeah, I don't know why it doesn't say twenty-five, but yeah. it's twenty-five, twenty, and. Right, and then Echad Aimer and then one says right. it's thirty, which is one hundred and twenty, because it's times four. Now it's also doing it out of order. It's saying one die and said a hundred, next guy said eighty, and the next guy said one hundred and twenty. Right? Okay, but it's well, I don't know why the Gemara does it out of order. Either way, so each one has their own opinion. So Nida and Bumana, the Tanakama says that you go with a hundred, right, which is the middle. petition. You go with 90, which, which none of them said. You do an evaluation between them, right? And then you split it into three, right? So, and but what else do you do? The Gemara doesn't say. So, what you do is you take, because there's a four, the discrepancy between the, the lowest estimate and the highest estimate is 40. So, you split it in three, which is 13 and a third. And then you add it on to 80, which makes it 93 and a third. Right? So that's the nafkamina. So the way, the, the way, there's a three of machlaikis. Either we go with 100 because he's the middle, or we go with 90, or we go with um, 93.3. Okay. You go with the, you go with the middle. Rabbi Elizabeth said, I'm going to need them You go with 90. Why? Because Kasavar. He he holds right. How 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 are this land on Tomei Bay's now Tishin Shava is worth ninety, right? The Kamar Esrim and this that he said twenty, right? Um, the Katoi Asar Lachare because he made a mistake twenty uh, ten backwards. He was off by ten. Behind the Kamar Mana. And the guy who said mana kataya saralakame, he went 90 in front of him. Again, I can't say I understand where this is coming from, meaning he's deciding that 90 is the middle, not I mean he agrees with the first with the Tanakama that you go with the middle, but he's decided that 90 is the middle because each the 80 guy is 10 off and the 110, 120 guy is 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 10 off. All right? The 10. 80 guy and the 100 guy are both 10 off. In different directions. The 80 guy and the... 100 no, guy. The 80 guy and the 100 guy. So how do you get to 90? What's with the 120 because guy? The 120 is the mute. He's bottled the mute. Guy. All right, 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 right. We, we, we eliminate him. Right, we eliminate him because he's, he's, he's a goner. Right, he's too far off. Right? Yeah, thank you. So what it says, Adarabu. Why don't we do the other way around? Hi, Ara may of Asara Shabi. Maybe why don't we say that the land is really worth 110? The guy that says 100, he's made a mistake 10 backwards. The one that said 30, which is really 120, meaning a knockout, the 80 guy. So the Gemara answers, take the first two guys. Because you don't want to go past 100. Not sure what that means, but it seems like 100 is a nice round number. That's the way I'm understanding it. I don't know if that's correct. Now, I think also it's sort of like Tafasta Maruba Loy Tafasta, right? Which I think they don't say it though. So I don't, it must be the meaning Tafasta, whenever you have what to compare things to. So you can, you can make a comparison to something that's a lot or something that's a little. So you always take the little because the little is for sure correct. The large amount may not be correct. So I maybe I think this is some form of that, where the the lower estimate is definitely correct, the higher estimate maybe maybe totally off. So we go with that. Okay. Now Achirim has a similar Gemara, just because we're dealing with a little bit of fractions, 
it gets a little bit more complicated. Right? You do a you do a an estimation between all three of them and then split it in a third and add it on to the lowest estimate. So Kosavri, high ara tishnu of a really hold that the land is worth 93 and a third. Hi, the Kamar Esrim, the guy that said 20, which means 80. So he's off by 13 and a third. Katoi Tulesa or Tulesa Lachari. He's off by 13 and a third. He, uh, uh, too low. By the Kamar Mana. And the one that says 100, Katoi Tulesa or Tulesa Lachari. He's made a mistake of 13 and a third too much. Okay, so then why is he saying 100? He should be saying 106 and two thirds. Ubedin, who the lame at And really, he should have said more. This is why he didn't do it. It's enough already. I'm already overestimating for my chaverim. So, Mamela, I'm estimating too much, so I'm going to lower my estimate. Right? Um, yeah. So, I, I again, I don't understand how you're lowering your estimates just because you don't want to be so off from your friends. I don't know. I guess, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. So then they were asking this other Abba, same kasha as, as before. Why don't we say that the land is worth 113 and a third? The one that says 100 is making a mistake 13 and a third, underestimate. And the one that says is making a mistake of 13 and a third, too much. And really, you should say more. It's, I'm, I'm already too high. My estimate is already too high, so I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go with that. Um, oh, so Tyson says a Kishmaka Kasha. I, I'm trying to think of it to, to remember, but basically, what comes out is because there's a lower estimate, the estimate actually gets raised. If you just take the two two guys, right, Tysus, the bottom Tysus says, if you now, okay, I don't even know why I'm saying the Tysus because I can barely understand the Gemara, but it's a Gishmak Akasha. Seems like if you're dealing with the two higher estimates and now you bring in the lower estimate, it actually raises the estimate. How does that make any sense? Tysus doesn't answer it. Right? Okay, whatever. It's uh, fine. So either way, Sigmar is asking, why don't you go with the higher estimate? Sigmar answers, knock at me as Trey Kamai Biotra, take the two that are in front of you, Biotra, the Mitaris may alloy mafkile. We don't want to go away from a hundred. Meaning we want the same tariffs, we want to go with the lower estimate because that's more of a vada. Amaravhuna, halacha ka acherim. Haravhuna says the halacha is like acherim. See, we're all mechavan to, to Ravashi. We don't understand what Acherim is talking about. You want to say that Allah is like him? We don't even get what he's saying. Right? So he disagrees. We shouldn't pass him like Acherim. The Dayanim of Goyla, they learned, they learned like Acherim. You make a shum between them and you split it into thirds. Amar Ravuna, Hilchus of Kedayne Gula and Ravuna. Same Gemara says Allah is like the Dayane Gaila. I'm sorry. So Amar Ravashi, time of the Dayane Gaila, Le Yadina, Hilchus of Dina Kavasayu. The Allah is that we're doing like him. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. So same Gemara, a little hard to understand, but there's a Gishmaka Rashbam here that I don't know if it's a Yasoid in Shas. Why does the Gemara not add? The Rashbam is bothered. Right, we have two exact same Gemaras. Rav Huna, Paskin, he said, we're not, we shouldn't Paskin like a Kherim. And then the Dayanim of Goyla said the same thing. And Rav Huna said, why are we Paskining like them? Why doesn't the Gemara ask, why, why do we have two of the same, why is the Gemara bringing two of the exact same stories? Right? Why is the Gemara not asking that? So in the Rashbam, in the, in the, in the, the last Rashbam before the Mishnah, Hilchus Kadayani Gaila. He says this that the Gemara doesn't ask it, it's Pashit that it's the same thing. Right? So he says that you said that when when does the Gemara ask that why are you saying the same two things? Is that's when they're not said exactly the same? And you should be able to learn out one from the other. 
That's when the Gemara says, well, we learn it, we can learn out one from the other. Why are you saying both? But when they're so exactly the same, that's not a kasha. That's not a question. The Gemara is just repeating itself for whatever reason. He doesn't say that part. That's Oh, he does say that, actually. He says, Hasam archi the Gemara lefrushe, kein nira be'enai. I think this one should be highlighted in the Rashbam. Of course, I hope for not to forget it, but it's a it's a Gishmaka Yisod in the Rashbam. Again, the Rashbam is saying when the Gemara repeats itself, the exact same thing, that's just the Derech of the Gemara to bring to bring another another story, another source saying the exact same thing. When do we ask Akasha that why do you need to say it twice? That's only when they're both slightly different than each other, and you should be you should be able to infer from one to the other one. And the mail of the Gemara asks, why bring both? We should be able to figure it out ourselves. Okay, that's an interesting, an interesting thing from the Rajbah. Who's Achirim here? Do we have a machlekes who Achirim is? There's always a machlekes. It's, right? it's your mayor, Achirim. A lot of, most of right, most times you're a mayor, but not always, right? Not always. I don't think. Not always. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's see weiter. Another confusing Mishnah here. A guy says to, to his friend, I'm selling you a half a field. So then you you work it out. You uh, you you uh, how do you call it? You evaluate it between them of how much the land is. I mean he sells them half a field. Now what meaning to 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 you could have a guy who tells somebody, I'm selling you half a field. Now, it could be he sold him the junky part of the half a field. What was his kavana by half a field? Half the worth of the field? Right? A boxer comes along and says, wants to buy your real estate. So he says, I want to buy half half in. You tell him, you're getting, oh, I'll, give, I'll sell him half the junky building. Right? Or does it mean no, half of the entire portfolio? So the tonic, so the Gemara says, misham, misham, misham ninan bene. we'll see in the Gemara what that means. Benaito chati sadeu. And he takes half the field. He says, I'm selling you half of the southern part. Um, I doesn't mean half the southern part, meaning the southern half of the field. I think I'm putting an extra nun in there. Yeah. We we uh also the same we evaluate him. He takes his half of the field in the southern half of the field. That's one thing. Now another, a total separate din. Meaning, if you're if a guy's selling half his field, who's responsible to put up a fence? So we're saying that the seller has to give up some of his land to meaning where is the fence going to be built? Who's On whose half? So the the mission is saying the, the seller has to provide some Why? land for the Why? guy to put a fence. Why is it the seller? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right, because otherwise he's not selling him the whole thing. No. You sell me something, I want you to whatever you sell me. Right. I think that I have to put a fence up. I don't use it. Meaning, meaning the point is when you sell a full field, so you're selling him a full field. Finished. He wants to put up a fence. He can put up his own. When you're selling him half, he's buying half half a field, half a useful half of a field. Well, I'm selling you. That part of the field, you could put the fence. You could not put a fence up, and I sold you the whole field. I don't think you're allowed to do that. Why not? Uh, we had this tomorrow, but let's see. You know, between a full field and a half field. I'm not to a full field. I'm selling you a hundred by a hundred field. You could do what you want with it. You want to put a put a fence. You don't want to put a fence. Don't put a fence. I'm selling you a full field. I think it's a chiv, unless they shoot them. It's a chiv. What it is? They have to put a fence up. We have this above the no, I, I don't. I, I'm the seller. I don't have to put a fence up. You have to put a fence. No, up. there has to be a fence. Well, let the other guy put a fence on his property. That's not then what you he didn't saying. sell him half the field. That's no, the problem. I sold him a hundred by hundred field. You didn't. I did. You didn't. You sold him a hundred by ninety. No, I sold him 100 by 100, and he has to put a fence up. Um, that, that, it's not how sales work. Really? So anything else, yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I, I say it does work that way. What do you mean? <laughs> what, 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 what do you mean? What, what do you mean? I buy what I buy. I buy to use. If I then have to go put a fence up on it, I didn't. That's that's not useful to me. If I sold you a hundred nuts, you you bought a hundred nuts. No, but I'm not eating the nuts. I don't eat the outside of the peanut. I only eat. The... I, yeah, yeah, Zev, Zev, I'll tell you the exact most. I buy a hundred nuts for you. But they have to come in a container. And only 92 of them fit in the container. You're saying, I should pay for the other eight because I bought 100 nuts. I didn't buy 100 nuts. I bought 92. Um, I think the quiet means it was a good muscle. <laughs> oh, it wasn't a good muscle. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I, I just, I, I, I don't know what to say. No, because you're splitting. Uh, yeah, you're splitting. You, okay. It has to do Dafka because he's splitting the field. Okay, whatever it is, but he's got to. He's got to provide it. Well, that's that was that wasn't. He didn't what say is? who gets the space. He just put up a thing. But it's so you have to put up something. All right, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so Vahuma Kawal of together, and then Charitz Uben Charitz. He needs to have a, a, a how do you call it a hole. Not a hole, a trench. Uben Charitz. Right? The, the way I'm envisioning it is if you go to the Bronx Zoo, so they don't have really big fences by the lions and all that. What they do is they make it look natural. They have this huge trench that the, there's no way the lion can get, get to anybody. Right? So that's what you have to do here. You have, a, you have a Charitz, and a, but here you need two. You need a big one and a small one. The Kamahu Charitz, and how much is a Charitz? How wide is it? Six tochem, shisha tochem wide. Uben charitz, shloisha, shloisha. So now this seller is giving up a lot. He's giving up a place for a fence, a six tochem wide charitz, and a nine tochem wide charitz. Right? So we'll see in the Gemara why he has to do this. Amar Abchia bar Abzog, the Gemara. Amar Abchia bar Amar Abyechran. This is in addition to the area of the field that he sold. He needs to give him additional That's... area for the fence. As far as I, yeah, as far as I understand, it's from his from his portion. Uh, I imagine if they work it out that the guy doesn't have to do this, then they're fine. But if not, what do you think I fought so hard about the fence? <laughs> you weren't on the <laughs> fence on this issue. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, so let's do the This is going back to the first part of the brisa, the Mishnah, right? So the Mishnah says. <coughs> That he gets half. So Rabbi Barabbas, I mean, he gets half of the of the uh, worth. So Rabbi Barabbas says, "Name Rabbi Yochanan, loykeach noitol kochus shavai." He could the loykeach could take even the the decayed area, meaning as long as he's getting half the worth of the field, the seller can give him the junk. Meaning in every field, you know, this is what we call idius, bainanis, and zibayris. Right? So you have good parts, middle parts, bad parts. So. The lekeach can you can the, the seller can give the lekeach the junky parts of the lands as long as it's worth half, right? Because the the yad of the smeicher is always on top. So I'm like Rabbi Bar Abba, Rabbi Yochanan, Ba'anan Mish Mish Ba'anan Mishamnin Beinayan Tanan. It says that says the Mishamnin Beinayan. The Mishnah says between them, it shouldn't all go in the seller's direction that the seller should gain. So Amalei, he told him a shtoch, achalta, kafnaisa b'bavel, because you're sitting and eating dates in bavel, targimna misefa, you should, we, we can explain it from the sefer. Meaning you guys are sitting around and eating, you're not getting ripe shot. We, in Eretz Yisrael, have ripe shot. All right? So, uh, yeah, so some say what it means is that because you were sitting and eating, you're eating dates, meaning you should have looked at the end of the Mishnah, and that will explain to you the first part of the Mishnah. Right? The Katani Seifa, Chatsi Bedoram Ani Marchler, and the Seifa it says, I'm going to sell you half the field in the south. Meshamninam Benayan. So they have to, they evaluate it between the Venaitel Chatsi Bedoram, and he takes half in the south. Vamai Meshamninam Benayan. Right? Why should they, um, why should they evaluate it, evaluate in the middle? Right? He told him he told him he's giving it in the half. 
right? So what does that mean? You're giving him, if he told him, I'm sorry, you, I'm sorry. So you're giving him half in the South. What is this thing that you, he says, I'm selling you half of the, I'm selling you the half, the Southern half of the field, right? So what are we saying that they're starting a value? Just give him the Southern half of the field. So what does it mean? What it means is the worth of it. Right? He's giving him, he's selling him the value, the worth of the south part of the field. Meaning it doesn't have to be that he's giving him the south field. He's just giving him the equivalent, the worth of the south part of his field. So Hanami, the dummy. So the ratio also means that it's it's the worth. He's just giving him the worth, and that worth can be of any part of the field. Yeah. Fine. So that's so that's that. Now Makabala love Makam together. So the seller has to be Makabala himself a fence. Tano. So be, so be, so mas, means the money, the monetary value between them, right? I think so. as a what do you mean? Bainayan. Yeah. Well that was the question of the Gemara. What does it mean? Bainayan tonight, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, very good. So Tanan Mishnah says Makabala love Makam gather. Satana charitz mi bechutz, the big charitz, the big uh, hole or trench is on the outside. Uben charitz mi befnim, and the smaller one is on the inside, closer to the fence. Vizeh vizeh achay together, and both of them are on behind the fence, meaning on the property of the seller. On tamer aleph, why? And why is it done? Kedei shaloite chayek lefetzes. The reason why we're doing is we don't want an animal. To jump, jump onto the fence and then get into the property. So this is a way of keeping the animals out. So the Gemara asks, so Levit Charitz, Velay Levit Ben Charitz. Okay, so what one one trench should be okay. You don't need two. So the Gemara says, I did the Ravach, since it's very wide, six tvach and wide, Kaima Begave. So the animal can stand in it, the Kofza, and then jump on the fence. Right? So that's why you have to take it. Um, then you, that's why you need a small, a small trench, which is three tfachim, to stop the animal from jumping from the bin from the big. Right? So fine. So then you ask for Levit Ben Kharitz, Velay Levit Kharitz. Okay, so then do a small kharitz and you don't need the big one. Right? So the Gemara says, I did the cotton. Since it's small, Kaima Asapse, it's gonna stand on the edge of it. And the cotton, then it'll be able to jump. Meaning, again, I don't understand exactly how these animals are jumping, but the point is, is we got to keep the animals out. And a fence is not enough because we're afraid the animals are going to jump the fence. So you got to get a six tfachim wide, wide trench, and a three tfachim wide, wide trench. And then they're going to ask them how much in between, and how much between the wide one and the small one. It is a tefach. So altogether... This seller, when he sells half a field, has to give up nine tfachim of land plus plus a fence. Now, how much is the thickness of a fence? I don't remember from the from the previous Gemaras above a basra. But uh, yeah, depends what it's made from. Either three tfachim, four tfachim, or five tfachim. Well, depending on the yeah, whether it's half bricks, bricks, or crushed stone. Yeah. All right. Fine. We'll stop over there. Three thirty tomorrow, right? We said. Yeah, three thirty. Yeah. Three thirty. <laughs>